And tonight, people all over New England were scanning the skies, looking for this. Bright lights moving quickly in the formation. You see there, those are Starlink satellites. To some, a technical marvel. But as WBZ's Tammy Mutasa explains, others see a celestial traffic jam. David and Lisa, tonight was very spectacular. All you had to do was look up and you saw those bright lights. Pretty amazing for a lot of people, but experts say not everybody is happy to see them. Oh, I see them, I see them. A marvel of bright moving lights illuminating the dark sky. With their eyes looking up, stargazers came looking for a light show. Yeah, I would definitely say it was worth it. It comes up along here. And you can see Castor and Pollux. Dick Coolish has been an amateur astronomer since the 1970s. He was amazed. I have never seen anything like that because I haven't watched them before. Um, that, that was really spectacular. I was very pleased to see that. Can you see it on there? Astronomers say those lights are Starlink satellites. They've been launched into space by Elon Musk's company, SpaceX. The satellites help boost internet access pretty much anywhere in the world. Eventually, 12,000 satellites will be in the sky. Almost always, you see just one. Uh, so to see this many uh, is, is really quite amazing. It was a very spectacular thing. Experts like MIT professor and astronomer Richard Binzel say there's pros and cons to the satellites. The pros, more internet connectivity. That's an, um, a valuable thing. The cons, more stuff in space creating obstruction. Whether they, um, you know, kind of get in the way of serious astronomical observations, whether they overcrowd the space and you have risk of collision of satellites with one another. Those are some of the cons and some of the factors that lead to these objects being controversial. With the way forward still going back and forth, enthusiasts encourage everyone to do this. My usual recommendation to people is just keep looking up. Now, if you've missed those satellites, they are expected to be visible again on Wednesday and Thursday. In Arlington, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. <laughs> it is always interesting to see him. And I think the timing is interesting, right? Because yeah. over the past week, we've heard about these stories of strange things right. in the sky. So we're looking up anyway. And you're like, what is it this time? <laughs> Wait a sec. Just Starling. How